Mr. General Donaldson, welcome back to the committee. Thank you. I appreciate you being here and your testimony. I think was excellent. You talked about there are 12 categories of increased risk to, to taxpayer money and being used properly. Now, you're in a position confirmed by the United States Senate to be responsible in looking at um, protecting taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. And what I heard you say is that proportion to the amount of money going out from the Department of Energy, the ability that you have to look into that from your size or your staff is the, the worst in government. And that you've asked the secretary for more, and the secretary has stonewalled or blocked the opportunity to get, that, to get that money. So there's a concern as we're looking at taxpayer dollars. So let me, let me talk about this because you said there are 12 categories of increased risk. I want to ask about this one. So there is a private trade association. It was founded by Mr. Shaw sitting next to you. He, uh, and, it's in char and he's in charge of the Department of Energy loan program. It's called Clean Tech Leaders Roundtable. He, he founded the organization. Uh, from what I see, it appears to be a gatekeeper for companies seeking DOE funding from him. And he founded the organization, not, not anymore. But one is called Sonova, which recently received a $3 billion loan from the Department of Energy, $3 billion. Uh, one of the board members of the group that he founded is also on the board of Sonova. They got the $3 billion, same guy, getting the money on his board that he founded. My concern is this could be the next Solyndra. The Solyndra was $500 million. This could be $3 billion of taxpayer money. Now, Mr. Shaw has reportedly been a guest speaker at at least 10 clean tech-sponsored events, the group he founded. And at these events, if you're a member of his group that he founded, they get special access to him. And he's the guy that's directing the loan program. So Department of Energy even recently co-hosted an event with clean tech, this group that he founded. Do you believe that Department of Energy's safeguards to prevent conflicts of interest in its loaning practices are satisfactory, or do they need to be improved? Thank you, um, Senator Brasso. I do have a project underway. It is still very new, looking at conflicts of interest, particularly in the loan program office. Um, I will say, and there was quite a few facts that you were chatting about there, uh, Mr. Shaw does have access to outstanding ethics counsel at the Department of Energy. I'm sure he's already working with her on some of those uh, issues. My job and how I've structured this project, that, which will look at conflicts, is not to see whether or not the minimum existing conflicts, laws, and rules are being met. It's to provide a broader universe of tools that they may want to strap on and enact and follow because of some of the very special circumstances surrounding this program. So the whole idea of uh, ethical protections is something that you can, you start at the floor, right, the federal requirements, you can certainly do more. So my staff is looking at both. Are they meeting the floor and, and making recommendations on what other things they may want to consider to protect these funds? No, I appreciate that because this, we're talking about a $3 billion, a six money. times larger mm -hmm. than, uh, than Solyndra, but actually there are hundreds of billions of dollars uh, in place. So Mr. Shaw, you, you appear to be all in on the Clean Tech Leaders Roundtable, going to their meetings, special access to members. That's the former associate trade association that you founded. You've spoken to at least 10 or more private events hosted by them. You've even given a loan to a company that shares a board member, and that was for three billion. But, the, but the, what this Groom Tech is now saying, it's hundreds of billions, hundreds, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, time. We love Jigger Shaw, love you. They love you, hundreds of billions of dollars. I mean, I think conflict of interest, potential conflict of interest. Jigger Shaw just became one of the most important players in energy. This is the new CEO of the company that you founded, that you get, Act, they get access to you. It is astonishing. This is a social media post from your former trade association's current executive director. Sounds like she thinks she hit the lottery, and apparently she did. She is openly touting clean tech's access specifically to you, hundreds of billions of taxpayer dollars that you're the one that's handing it out. I think it's a very bad look for you personally and a very bad look for the Department of Energy. Will you commit to refrain from associating with your previous trade association for the rest of your tenure at the Department of Energy? 
Senator Barrasso, thank you for that very important question. Um, I think it's important to take a step back and understand the role that I have at the Loan Programs Office. Uh, the Secretary, when she was in her confirmation hearing, uh, suggested, uh, truthfully, that the Loan Programs Office was dormant. Uh, so my job has been to gain private sector trust, and so I'm all in, for sure, on American innovators and entrepreneurs, and I have uh, spared no uh, you know, event or time or conference to figure out how to promote the Loan Programs Office. But because of your excellent oversight and the oversight of the Inspector General, the Loan Programs Office has been substantially improved uh, since 2011 and 2012. We now have a risk management group, a portfolio management group, and so I have no role to play whatsoever in choosing who gets a loan. In fact, those decisions are made by federal staff. My job is to get people to take the extraordinary step of spending a lot of time and effort to participate in the Loan Programs Office and ask us for a loan so that we can evaluate it. So Mr. Chairman, let me just reflect that the witness just refused to commit to refrain from associating with this previous trade organization, I'll hold that back up again, he has refused in front of this committee to commit to refrain from associating with his previous organization that talks about hundreds of billions of dollars from him. I asked him a straightforward question, will you commit to refraining? He refused to answer. So whether or not you found some nice little loophole, this is Ethics 101. It's a bad look for you. It's a bad look for the program. It's a bad look for the Secretary of Energy. And it's a bad look for the Biden administration. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.